to Leo Collection videos. And Today we're doing the movie after Revenge of Fall. Like, blah, 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 falling. <laughs> guys, we're doing Dark of the Moon. And Dark of the Moon, guys. This is my favorite line. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What? Because I like this bumblebee a lot. It's so unique because look. Yeah, so guys, that is the Daredevil Squad Bumblebee. Look. Although it's got the Human Alliance shield on it, which was the first movie. Very odd, very odd, guys. And so there's some. This is our collection that we need to work on maybe the most. Uh, we definitely like it a lot. We, we're doing okay on the Revenge of the Fallen. You guys can check that out. And this one, though, in the first movie, I believe we need to probably work on a little bit more. Uh, the first movie is, is doing a little bit better than this one, but this one you can see there's only five figures here. We do have a commander class, so there's commander class Optimus. Take a little look at him. Call him Bad Steel. Yeah, good old Battle Steel Optimus. It's a very okay ish figure. I think this one is something I probably added on to get like free shipping or something because I don't remember like trying to get this guy and he's standing right in his grill, which is not super stable. There are you do it. Okay, guys, we have Roadbuster okay. in his race car mode. The wreckers were really weird in this movie and. Dale Earnhardt Jr. race car, and it's doesn't really say Robuster to me, guys. It's an it's a good representation of a NASCAR. It's not a good representation of Robuster. Robot mode, I think, is just there. It's okay. All right, who else have we got? We've got the Daredevil squad. So this one, the hood is broken, and I've repaired it multiple times, but. Uh, I think somebody prefers a broken. I do like the coloration on this. I would tend to agree with Leo that probably this is my overall favorite as far as vehicle mode. But that's not because it's great, it's because everything else that we have is kind of trashy to me in vehicle mode. It does have rear taillights painted on though. And I do appreciate that. And here you can see Battle Steel in his vehicle mode. He is, he is also missing his weapons. Yeah, his weapon is somewhere guys. All right, so that leaves us with, this is by far the shortest of all of our collection videos, most likely guys, just because there are so few here. So this has got the mech tech thing on it. I do kind of like the mech tech gimmick, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I think it's kind of cool. Not great, but kind of cool. Um, he does represent a rescue truck pretty well. No real issues here. I don't like this. Actually, let me back up. I don't really like his head sculpt. I don't think it's all that good. Um, I was not a super fan of what they did with that, and I don't like it riding between the front tires like that. I think that's kind of foolish. Uh, as a as a robot, I think he's just okay. In my view, Dark of the Moon as a movie and as a toy line seemed a lot like they were phoning it in. We, they had the same they had the same characters for the most part in all three of those movies. And it gets really hard to introduce new toys when you're not actually changing anything about the characters. So uh, by by that movie I think both the toy line and the the writers of the movie themselves were phoning it in. Uh, here we have Voyager class, Cannon Force, Ironhide Back to his more classic colors. Uh, I think this one's okay. His head sculpt is sort of small, especially compared to the guy that was in uh, some of the figures that they had from Revenge of the Fallen. Again, the Iron High we really want is either Movie the Best or the new Studio Series. Uh, guys, definitely stay tuned for that. The thing I find really weird is, so his hands don't stay on well, but this, this arm movement and stuff is nonsense guys I'm not a fan of that at all and his, his foots that transformation there I think is honestly kind of goofy not not super in love with any of that guys it does definitely make itself look like a 
GMC top kick. I mean it it's a very distinctive truck though, so as long as they get close it's gonna hit that. But I mean this red in the plastic is a little washed out for my taste, so I think this one is just okay guys. Okay, not not another super in love with thing it. About this is that look, it can open its doors and it's actually a really good representation of an inside of this Chevy. Does it have a seat? Is it something that looks like a seat? Well, guys, it is sort of seat-ish and sort of dashboard-ish. It's, I guess, kind of sort of like you could maybe fit somebody from the Human Alliance in there. Uh, I'm going to say that of these five guys, this is... Battle Steel is the one we got first, but I would say I like this one the best. Again, it looks like something should go in there. I don't know what that would be, but... There's the same with Whitney. There's the same with Whitney. And then you can just take a look at his head skull. Wait, I know Owen Grady. I think Owen Grady's going to be too big to fit in there, but we'll try, guys. We'll do it for you. Good head sculpt. It's good head sculpt here, guys. Again, nothing really wrong with this car, but it is, it's is—it's the best of the lot just because it's competition. There's no way you're going to be able to stuff Owen in there, dude. Maybe, maybe, maybe the tiny baby blue. Okay. Guys, while we're gonna try that, Dark of the Moon was probably our least favorite. Uh, I don't know how it was for you guys. It actually, it probably actually can fit in there. Okay. Yeah? Let's see. Oh, uh, maybe. Can Baby Blue fit into Bumblebee, guys, is our burning question. And probably not very comfortably. <laughs> you can say that again. Yeah. So there it is guys, leave us a comment, let us know what you thought Dark of the Moon is a movie. Uh, I remember before Leo got into it, I tried watching it and actually wound up turning it off because the beginning is not something you can just get into without a frame of reference. So, And then of course once we got into things later, it started to make more sense, but I, I still, I, I, I'm thrilled that Leonard Nimoy was in it guys. Happy, happy as ever that Sentinel Prime made it. I uh, didn't like what they did with them because I thought they wasted them, but I was happy for things like that, guys. But overall, they should have, in my yeah. view, stuck with Megan Fox rather than the other girl whose name I still don't know. And it was just, it was just a so-so-ish, I guess, kind of human element, even even it, compared to the other so-so-ish ones. So. Look at this, you can you can also open up the side of this ambulance to port the gun to it. Yeah. Okay buddy, so is our is our clear consensus here, uh Daredevil Squad Bumblebee, is that our favorite out of this? It's my favorite vehicle mode, my favorite robot mode is Ratchet. Okay guys. For me it's that Bumblebee for both guys. Leave us a comment, let us know if you agree. Let us know if you guys are collecting this and we would love to hear your thoughts on the movie in general guys like we said but that is going to wrap it up guys for probably one of our collections that we need to work on the most dark of the moon guys if you did a pre if you did enjoy our look at this sort of modest collection at this point guys please give us the old thumbs up guys hit the red subscribe button if you're not not sorry guys hit the blue bell next to the red subscribe button if you'd like to be notified the latest for you guys contact us because available such as more Dark of the Moon figures. Guys, I do have my eyes out for more figures from this line. Because, I, like I said, I do kind of get a kick out of the Mech Tech gimmick. I definitely want to get Top Spin. For sure, probably Jackie as well, guys. M make the whole Wrecker Squad. That was one of my favorite parts of that movie. So, we're still, we're still kind of working out some of that stuff, guys. But, definitely stay tuned for that. And, and guys, I would say that the best way to get the updates for when the content is delivered for our channel guys is to follow us on our twitter feed because everything is updated in live and direct time guys as soon as it happens to the channel uh, guys again leave us a comment if you would like to and we will see you all next time goodbye bye bye, bye, -bye.